Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on a universal socket. So I've been seeing ads for these pop up all over the internet. Like they're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, like honestly everywhere there's ads, these little things pop up. So I'm just curious if they actually work. I'm going to put it to the test, no BS, and we'll see what happens. If it works, it works. And if not, I will let you guys know. So to do that, I already set up this little test. I have a couple like different little things that I can use, different size bolts and stuff, and then some other like little hooks and like, little eyelet things. So I'm gonna see if this thing's actually legit or not. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with uh, unboxing this. So this is two little pieces of tape on each side, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this open. So inside we see here's the universal socket. And if you don't know, these things work. There's a bunch of like little tiny, I don't know if you can really see it from there, um, like little cylinders and you can kind of like push down on them they're all spring loaded so that's kind of how it's able to like hook on and grip onto different kinds of uh surfaces and whatnot different like hex bolts stuff like that so there's that this one also comes with a drill attachment so you can um pretty much use a power drill for this because you don't want to have to do all this stuff by hand so there's that and this little thing is actually a 3 8 adapter so um it's made to pretty much hook right into that you can still use it with different kinds of sockets and pretty much anything else that's the 3 8 Or you can still use this with a regular wrench such as this. You can just kind of hook it right on and it works. So let's go ahead and test it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be using this little adapter and then I'm going to throw it on my drill because this makes life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get started with trying this out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what I think is gonna be the easiest for it. This has like little uh, tiny threads. I'm just gonna go ahead and start right here and just kind of work my way up. Um, these little hex bolts as well. This one has like a really short uh, kind of edge here. So I don't even know if it's gonna hook onto that. We will see. This one's a bit different. And then this one's like really heavy duty. And it, just to get this started is actually pretty hard. So I feel like it's gonna be easiest. I'm just gonna go ahead and work my way across. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just take this and just stick it right down over top of each one and see how it goes. All right, I might not have started that very well, so we will come back, try that again. Let's go ahead and try this one. Same thing, I'm gonna drill a little hole, I'm gonna redo those. Okay, it actually kinda went down there. It was slipping quite a bit, like I felt it where it was like, like really slipping around in there. It was actually able to get it down in there pretty decently. So I am honestly kind of surprised. Jeez, okay, um, didn't mean to go that fast, but hey, it, it threw it right down in there and it's nice and firm. Um, once again, I did feel slipping on this. So it's kind of like slipping around inside. Uh, it's not gripping perfectly, but it was still able to get it dropped right down in there. And let's go ahead and try for this big one. Let's try to center it here. All right, so might need to use my, uh-oh. Yeah, so like right now, it's actually kind of stuck on there. All right, so I might actually need to use my impact wrench, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that one and see if we have better luck. And this is actually gonna be a really good test because we're gonna see if this actually works with high torque. These ones weren't as high torque. This one is very tight in there, so we're definitely gonna need higher torque. So let's see if it works. I mean, not, not bad, honestly. It actually kind of worked. I couldn't really tell on this one if it was slipping. It did actually kind of scratch up the head of the bolt here, but it was able to get in a decent amount. Uh, this is very, very firm. This is a very big screw, which I should have pre-drilled the hole for that. But the fact I was able to get it kind of down in there that far is actually very impressive to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in reverse and see if I can back out this bolt. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. Like that was in there very, very tight and it was able to pull that out. Let me actually switch back to the regular drill. All right, pull that out nice and easy. 
Let's try this other little one. Well, all right then, okay. Like, I am already seeing, there we go, this one has like a different little tip. So I am already seeing that this thing is actually pretty legit. Um, let me look at a little status. Some of these little things are actually a little scratched. They don't seem to be like damaged or anything, so that's a good sign. Let's get to focus, and there we go. So it was actually able to get all those kind of down in there and back out. So the next test, I do want to try it on my car. All right, so just ignore all this green tape. I'm actually having parts custom made, so I'm just kind of covering up where those went, uh, as well as this entire missing panel right here. But that does leave some open hex bolts right there. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and see if this actually works on um, working on the car. So once again, that's what I'm using. All right, that actually pulled it up pretty well. Let's try this one. Okay, I know that one's like very high torque, so I might need to use the impact for that. All right, so that one is very high torque, so I would suggest if you're gonna be using this thing for anything like high torque, such as working on a car, uh, definitely just use like the regular socket in my opinion. Um, but for example, if you wanted to get a lot of these started, you can just kind of like throw, like if you had all these screws out, you can just kind of throw them all in and just go ahead and drop them all the way down in there. And then you can use like the actual socket to then tighten them or torque them down. Because especially with high torque, these things are probably going to, oops, there, there we go. These might slip a little bit because it's just not able to get like that nice solid grip as like an actual socket would. But um, honestly to get everything started or uh, especially if you're gonna be working with wood, I definitely recommend this because these are actually pretty decent. This is like random, um, random sizes. And like this one, for example, it actually surprised me how far it was actually able to get down in there before it was too tight. So if I would have like pre-drilled a hole and then stuck this down in there to like um, uh, mount like a hinge on a fence, because that's actually what this is from. Uh, if I would have just pre-drilled it, that would have just dropped it all the way down in there, no problem. So yeah, this to me actually is pretty legit. It's not perfect for 100% of the scenarios. I would say that it's not a perfect replacement for an entire socket set. Uh, just because like, for example, this I would use to work on my car. I probably would not use this for the car 100% of the time. So if you guys are curious how this works, essentially you're gonna take your bolt and then like whenever you get down over top of it, you can kind of see how those little uh, things just kind of all press down with springs so then it's able to kind of grip on there a little bit better. Um, whenever you have stuff such as like this, it'll essentially be able to grip down and around. So I do feel like this definitely would have worked. Um, if I would have pre-drilled, just like the big one, if I would have pre-drilled that, I guarantee it would have like gripped right down in there, no problem, because these are the easiest things to get a lot of grip on there. And especially with this little tiny one, I feel like that should have worked very easily as well. Um, different sizes. This one has like that little lip around the edge. It'll still go down and conform to that. So yeah, I, I really do feel like this is a pretty legit project. I would say it does not like replace 100% socket set, but I do uh, recommend this. I, I, like I said, I keep seeing all the ads for it and I was just really curious of how it worked. Some of these socket sets, like this one does go up to 19 millimeter for me and all the way down to, but it does go down. I have like four millimeter right there. So if I was gonna do anything like really tiny that's uh, under seven millimeters, I'm still gonna use a socket set, but that's a pretty wide range right there. One quarter, three quarters, uh, seven millimeter, 19 millimeter. So yeah, I would say this is pretty decent. Like it's, it's not a bad product at all. Um, it's actually pretty solid when you kind of push down on here. It's, it's not bad at all. It's not cheaply made. It does feel very high quality. I will say if you guys are interested in picking up one of these or even multiple, um, I don't know why I need multiple, but if you guys want one, definitely go down in the description down below. I'm gonna have links. There's this one, which is like the normal kind of chrome, the silver look. There's also one that's completely black. So in the description down below, you can go check out both of those. They are on Amazon. It is a, like I said before, it's the universal socket. So 
And right here down the corner, you can kind of see all, like, all the different little sizes um, that it says it can go on pretty much hex, hooks, square bolts if you, know, if you have them. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, definitely go down, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos. Um, I plan on maybe doing some product reviews here in the near future, such as like this one and testing it kind of in real world situations. Uh, some of these were just in a piece of wood, but like, let's say you're doing fencing or like the like a hinge on a fence. This is like an actual bolt from that. So you can kind of see practicality reasons. It's not 100% perfect, but it actually is pretty legit. So yeah, definitely link in the description down below, pick up some. This would be a perfect gift, or it could just be a perfect little trinket for yourself to just have in a toolbox. You can have this laying around so it's quick and easy so you don't have to get out the entire socket set. You can just kind of grab this real quick and then just kind of grab and go. So like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.